The Resident Evil 4 remake has been surrounded in controversy because there are people who are upset over the censorship the game has gone through and then journalists saying it's not even censorship and we are being dramatic for not liking the changes. But now the digital deluxe edition outfits have been revealed and people are roasting them on social media. I have a bunch of different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this game's radar article, Ashley's special outfits in Resident Evil 4 Remakes Deluxe Edition are the game's biggest horrors, and I definitely have to agree. I am not a fan of what they have done to Ashley in this remake. They've changed the way her character acts. They've changed her aesthetic designs. They've just made a lot of changes here that I personally am not a fan of. I will still be streaming this game uh, on launch day because, you know, I'm a content creator. But if I wasn't, would I be purchasing this? I don't know, they're making a lot of changes that I am very skeptical about. It says, Resident Evil 4 Remake's bonus costumes for Ashley Graham have been unveiled and they're nothing short of monstrous. Capcom's remake is filled with monsters, uh, the villainous Salazar, and apparently Ashley Graham's alternative costumes. The official remake website has now been updated to show the bonus costumes for Ashley, including the romantic set, which you can see below. Now, this does kind of fit in the theme of Resident evil costumes because these two go together. When you look at one and you look at the other, they clearly were designed with each other in mind. They were supposed to be equals here. They just match. And that, to me, is something that has always mattered with alternative costumes because they just make sense. I am personally not a fan of the way that Leon looks. I don't think Ashley necessarily looks bad, but Leon looks god-awful. But when you see the next images, that is when all of the red flags and the question marks start appearing. So it says, if this costume is enough to get your heart racing, then yes, maybe it really can be considered romantic. The names of these bonus costumes for Leon Kennedy and Ashley probably won't do anything to dissuade the heathens out there that they should be a romantic item. But now we get into the costumes that have sparked some massive controversy. So apparently if you thought that was bad, get a load of what awaits below. These are apparently the casual outfits for the characters, and if that is what counts as casual for the latter, we dread to see what flashy or extravagant counts for the daughter of the President of the United States. And these are the two outfits that have really... Uh, caused a lot of debate on social media. Now, first of all, let's just look at these together. They make absolutely no sense, okay? Leon's outfit has nothing to do with Ashley's. They do not match at all. Leon's looks very low effort. Uh, I like the jacket, don't get me wrong, but it's just a very lazy costume design, in my opinion. And then you have Ashley, and it makes zero sense. I never saw her as, like, an emo or a scene kid. Yes, it does fit into the time period when the game takes place, so I will give them that. But the design itself just isn't very appealing. They basically said, what can we do to show absolutely no skin on this character? And they were like, let's make her emo. She'll wear you know, long sleeve under her shirt, tights, and, you know, it fits so we can't be accused of not doing a time period accurate design. This, to me, just looks awful. I think, you know, maybe in an alternate world where Ashley actually acted like a scene kid, it wouldn't be half bad, but when I see this, I am just getting major major Viola flashbacks. If you don't remember from Bayonetta 3, this was Viola. It, I just feel like game developers now have this clear idea in mind for how these female characters should look, and we're seeing very similar designs here. 
But the worst part of this whole situation is that you don't get these costumes just for purchasing the base game. You have to buy the extra you know, expensive edition. You have to purchase the deluxe edition of the remake, and these are supposed to be the incentives. For me, these do not incentivize me to shell out extra cash at all whatsoever, and a lot of people agree because this has caused some massive debate on social media. So there are a lot of threads about this topic, and there are some people who like these designs, who think they look good, and that's great. If you like them, that is all that matters. I hope that you enjoy your time using them. I personally think that they look awful. Uh, Yogensha said, just terrible. Somebody also questioned, how are they going to have a MySpace Ashley, but not an emo Leon? At least if both of the characters had a matching outfit, it, it, it might be just a little bit better to people. There's also uh, people saying, like, Punk Ashley is so random and weird, especially since the other ones at least match, but these don't. We expected it, but not this bad. It is so sad that they have just thrown away the aesthetics that Ashley already had in the original game, and it's like they're just recreating this character. And also, people are pointing out the fact that she shows zero skin throughout this game now, which is very true. They have changed all of her outfits. Her original one has tights underneath it. You've got turtlenecks now. You have this... Um, collared shirt here. You also have this one where she's wearing sh uh, stockings and she's wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath her short sleeve shirt and you've got all these necklaces. So basically the only skin you see on this character now comes from her face. It's kind of depressing in my opinion. She used to have such a great design and now they're just throwing that away. People are also saying things like, oh, here's an image of Viola going, <laughs> spot the difference. <laughs> they both look so terrible in my opinion. Since I do have a copy of this game, I am going to be playing it on launch and I am going to be streaming it for you guys. I obviously hope that it ends up being a good experience. I don't want games to come out and for them to be awful, but there has been a lot of negative news surrounding this title that's really got me upset. They're changing Ashley. They are <laughs> unfortunately censoring some of the violence in the game and toning it down a little bit. Of course, the female characters all look different and... There are, you know, a pile of changes at this point. I hope that at its core, it still feels like Resident Evil 4. It still plays like Resident Evil 4, and it is still a very exciting experience. But as you can see, the brand new Deluxe Edition costumes have been revealed, and people do not like them. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.